crafty friends, welcome to Origami Tree, my name is Jenny and today I'll be doing a very special collaboration video between 15 YouTubers. So yeah, 15 YouTubers, we have Mona from Craft Clash, So Craftastic, The Mommy and Gracie Show, just a whole bunch of people. You can find their links in the video description below. So this is actually a part of the Made by Mommy Craft Challenge. Kim sent me this box here and I'll be opening it up and unboxing it with you guys, seeing what kind of materials we have in here and seeing what we can make from it. Okay, so let's start unboxing. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so everything is wrapped in this nice tissue paper. More tissue paper. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I see, oh my goodness, the first thing I see here are construction paper. It's a paper pad of 32 sheets. Oh, and glasses, of course, so I shall be wearing this for the remainder of the unboxing video. If I can see through them, we have some duct tape, we have blue duct tape and also yellow duct tape. A sponge. Oh, two sponges. This is Restickable Book Cover and Shelf Liner. We have three colors of finger paints, a hundred popsicle sticks, a couple of coffee filters, some premium crayons, and also a glue stick, a permanent marker, and I think these are hair curlers. So let me open that up. I'm sorry, it's really hard to see through these, so I think I'm going to take them off for a little bit. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so we got this stuff here. Um, a pair of socks, a box lid, and some more tissue paper. And then we have the September Craft Challenge instructions. So it says, number one, you can use clear tape and glue from home, but no other craft materials may be added to your projects. Number two, you do not need to use everything in the box, but please try to use at least four different items. Number three, yes, you can use the box itself. Okay. Number four, feel free to use your own scissors, but no tools that require electricity. And safety first. I've included protective eyewear in the box for your protection and my amusement. I don't know how protective that eyewear is. And number five, film the unboxing, which I just did, your crafting process, and of course the end results. Number six, have fun. If you aren't having fun, it's time to put on those glasses. All right, so let's see what I come up with. So I'm going to use this box lid and I'm also going to be using this box of finger paints except I'm not sure if I'm going to be using the finger paints I'm just going to be using the box for now Next I'm going to take some of the duct tape over here and I'm going to uh, cover up this box So now that I'm done covering this box in the blue duct tape, I'm just going to place it on a flat surface. And then what I did here with this box lid was I placed some yellow duct tape all across the uh, shorter side of it. And then I'm going to place it right on top of the blue uh, duct tape box, just like this, right at the center. Then I'm going to go ahead and turn the box to the side like so. And I'm going to take my cups and I'm going to uh, draw three circles with it. Next I'm going to take my pair of scissors and I'm going to cut these holes out that I just drew. Now that I have all of the circles cut out, I'm going to use my duct tape and then just go over the entirety of this white section over here. Now that I have everything covered, I'm just going to flip it around and then I'm going to cut holes at the center where the circles are and then I'm just going to fold the tape back. Just cut little triangles so that you can fold it back. It doesn't really matter how messy it looks uh, because it's going to be at the back and no one's going to be able to see it. And if there's any loose edges coming out, you can just cut it out. And so when you turn it around, it looks like this. And then just repeat the same thing with these two circles over here. And when you flip it around, it should look like this. And the next step, I'm going to take some of these socks over here and I'm just gonna cut it up into, I don't know, uh, three equal pieces. I'm going to do the same thing with this sock. 
Then I'm going to take some of my duct tape here and I'm going to wrap it around the sock so that it creates a little crumbled ball shape. So now I have one duct tape sock ball completed and I'm just going to repeat the same thing with the remaining socks. So now that I have my six balls completed, I'm going to take a sheet of construction paper. So I'm going to use this pink one here and tear it out. Next I'm going to fold upwards about half an inch and then I'm going to cut that strip of construction paper out. Then I'm going to take my marker and write 100, 200, and 300. Cut them out into three equal pieces. And then take a little bit of the shelf liner and laminate these three labels. And then fold it over. And then cut them out. So once I have these labels done, I'm going to take this big piece over here and then I'm going to use uh, the duct tape and tape on 300 right here, 100 over here, and 200 over here. I'm going to take my Sharpie right here and write ball toss. And now I'm going to test out my ball tossing skills. Score! So thank you guys so much for watching this Made by Mommy craft challenge. Uh, and thank you to Kim for sending me all these art supplies and allowing me to make this really fun ball toss. Anyway, don't forget to check out the other 14 YouTubers who participated in this craft challenge as well. I will be linking it to the video end cards and also to the video description below. All of their channels, go check them out. Uh, everybody is going to be doing something different, so it should be interesting to see what people come up with. Lastly, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the upper left hand corner. Give this video a thumbs up and also leave a comment below letting me know what video you'll like to see next. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye! So this is my sad attempt at juggling. Oh, no.